Welcome everyone to this week's video. This week we're talking about NFTs and more specifically we're talking whether your NFT investments are building the future you want for yourself. Now let me give you some background. Countless research has shown that automation will end up killing a lot of jobs. This is as true for blue collar jobs as white collar ones. So a growing proportion of the population will end up not having a job and not being able to find one. This is a problem that we as humans need to solve in the near future. And what does that entail? Well, jobs basically is a way for us to sustain ourselves. So there's the economic side, but more importantly, there is the sense of purpose that the jobs give us. How will we manage to give a sense of purpose to a growing share of the population that don't have a job? Well, one possible solution is actually related to VR technologies. Some hope that humans will be spending more time in digital worlds, which will shelter them from physical wants and needs and would allow them to lead a life of pleasure and entertainment. This might very well be true, especially considering this new technological developments. But this is precisely where NFTs come into play. Of course, when we talk about NFTs, there's the crypto art side, which I will not be addressing in this week's video because owning art has always been a luxury. I want to address the collectible side and the spirit on which we're building tomorrow's worlds. Broadly speaking, NFTs are a tool for us to make digital goods more scarce and limited. And when we look at collectible projects, they claim to be our identities in the coming digital era. For instance, when I go on Decentraland or Sandbox, I will theoretically be able to use any profile picture project that I bought in. Now I find this a little problematic because collectible projects are made of thousands of images with varying levels of rarity, which means that we're making some identities more rare and others more generic. And in this scenario, the rare ones are more expensive and the more generic ones are less so. So if NFTs projects, maybe not today's, but tomorrow's NFT collectible projects become what they claim to be, so a gateway to our new digital identities, that would mean that people with more money would have rarer identities and people who have access to less capital would have more generic digital identities. And the scarcity in here is 100% made up. Nobody in a digital world need to have a less rare identity or need to have less access to any kind of digital good. This actually is in a very stark contrast with the 90s spirit where I grew up where internet was seen as a tool of infinite knowledge and infinite information that could be shared at no one's expense. Now here's the question. If we really imagine a world where a growing part of the population will be spending more time in digital worlds, in the metaverse, is the current way we use NFTs the best way to build these worlds of tomorrow? And honestly, I don't know. I have no idea. But I see the hype that we are all in building around NFTs and building using NFTs. And I think it's a good idea to take a step back or at least a half step back and to look at the big picture and to really make sure that the world we're building is the world we would like to live in in 15, 20 years. And I think a good question to keep in the back of our minds is are we building a better future or are we just digitalizing today's problems? I'm very curious to know what you think about this question. So let me know down in the comments, like, subscribe, do all these good things and don't forget to enjoy your holiday season. Thank you for watching everyone and I'll see you again in the next video.